Yo, what's good, Sneak Game? It's your boy Reggie J. Sneaks coming at you guys today with a new video. As you guys see that from the title down below, we're gonna be unboxing, I guess you guys can say, uh, reviewing dope limited sneakers that was only limited to 23,000 pairs. You guys are ready for the review. I need you guys to go ahead and stop what you guys are doing. Drop a like on this video as well as a comment. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, just from the title down below or, or just already on the channel, just from seeing me before from my other previous reviews, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel as well as make sure you guys have that notification bell set to on and make sure you guys have it set to all so you guys know when I drop a new video and what I'm dropping because you guys might just miss out on a dope review or a dope sneaker that I required from All Star Weekend or just a dope sneaker that I required early or whatever. But I do have a lot of good sneakers in my arsenal. You guys don't know or you just found out the town. Go out and watch some of my old older reviews. You guys probably seen them around. But yeah, with all that being said, Sneak Gang, I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys straight to the review on the Air Jordan 1 Retro High 85s and the reverse red colorway. So in the meantime, two time you guys gonna get straight into this review. <laughs> All right, so now before we get into this review on the Air Jordan 1 Retro High 85, I just wanna go ahead and tell you guys a little quick backstory of how I actually won these shoes. Um, I won these shoes because I did it through Nike uh, sneaker app. They had a surprise drop on the February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day, they actually released these for pickup at the Nike Chicago store downtown Chicago, because you guys know it was All-Star Weekend here in Chicago. Pretty much it was a lot of craziness, a lot of uh, sneaker drops happening, but when these actually came about, I didn't even know, or I didn't even think I was gonna win. I just was like, you know what? I just give it a try. If it works, it works. And as you guys see, I'm giving you guys a review, so it actually worked. All I know is that they gave out the links of when the, the shoe was gonna go live. I waited for that time. Once the time came and the, the app went uh, live and said reserve, I hit it. Once I hit the uh, reserve uh, on my app, it pretty much like took up like it was gonna take the payment, start to load up, load up, load up, kick me out. I pushed it again and then that's when the sign just automatically came up and told me that I won the shoes. Told me that I had, uh, I had to pick it up the next following day on the 14th. I think it was between like seven to nine, I think you had or 8, 8 a.m. all the way to 9 o'clock, you could pick up the uh, shoes at Nike Town uh, Chicago. Um, I know they did have some apps that, I mean, I know they did have a drop, another drop that you could pick it up at the hub, but I didn't win for that one. I know the pack as well. We just ain't gonna talk about that. There's no, I got the error sign. I have an iPhone, you guys already know. If you guys don't know, you get an error on the Flex app now. If you have an Android, you can sign into it and see if you won, but I didn't know about that hack until after the point. And uh, yeah, just to say, my size got reserved for somebody else. But uh, yeah, I can't really complain because I did end up winning some other things that I would uh, pretty much tell you guys later on. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the whole video because this is not the only sneaker that I won All-Star Weekend. Um, I, I would just tell you guys another one that I won, which was the USC to Chicago. I put up the reservation tabs up here. I won up another one off sneaker app. That one was the same thing, a sneaker driver. You guys just pretty much reserved for it. And then I hit for that one as well. That one I did not go pick up because by the time I got off work and I was kind of debating like, man, do I really want to make that drive downtown since I know a lot of stuff was dropping off. I'm like, man, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to do this? So I did end up doing it. And then I ended up seeing that the resale wasn't that, that much for it. And then I kind of already knew about this one already. So I was like, all right, what do I do? Do I really want to just go out there and try to just get the shoe knowing that I probably most likely wasn't going to keep it or I could just not even do it and just have it and I mean, I even go pick it up and somebody else can just win it and they actually, you know, hopefully it'd be somebody that actually want the shoe that I wear and if not, I guess if it's a reseller, then hey, you know, shout out to you for your couple bucks that you made off the shoe, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I didn't go pick those up. I ended up winning on my size as well as a taller size. I popped those up up here as well. Um, I did end up winning some other stuff that ended up dropping. I already gave you guys some hints already. If you think about it, you already know what kind of was left. I told you guys I hit on the UNC to Chicago. I didn't hit on, I hit I hit on the pack, but I didn't hit on the pack because I didn't reserve it in time. Um, and then 
I obviously won on this one. And you guys already know what else kind of dropped in Chicago. So I guess you guys have to stay tuned for that. But with all that being said, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and give you that story. So uh, yeah, this shoe right here is only limited to 23,000 pairs. That's the whole US. Um, each shoe should be tagged from what I was hearing. Um, I wonder what number I have. I haven't really looked at them. I did put them up on social media after um, you guys will see the video. Most likely I'm most likely gonna post it on social media. So if you guys seen this video, just know um, to make sure you guys follow on my social media, which is Reggie J Sinks. I do have a Facebook like page that just barely hit a thousand uh, likes on there. So shout out to you guys that if you guys are following my like page. Um, I haven't had that page for a while and I'm sorry to hit a thousand. So you guys uh, uh, wanna stay tuned with leaks or anything else or just wanna stay tuned with stuff that's happening in the same community and don't wanna have to bounce from all these different other uh, social media pages. You can just check out that one because I do post that stuff as well as this other sneaker stuff in the same community. So yeah, just check out my Facebook page. Um, that stuff I have a link down below as well as my social media, which is just Reggie J Sneaks. That's Instagram, Snapchat, and everything else. It's all that Reggie J Sneaks. Make sure you guys stay tuned with that stuff because I do give sneak peeks behind the scenes and all other stuff. So maybe when you guys see this video, you guys probably already know the other shoes that I already was requiring throughout this weekend. Other stuff that I doubled up on. Um, I've just been having all the stuff that I've been getting that I just haven't had time to really do a review. And I know that's kind of bad for you guys because I know you guys want to see this stuff. So. Yeah, maybe I gotta just start doing reviews. So look, I even got another shoe right here. Uh, I got some more shoes and got more shoes than a Nike bag. I'm like, this shoe's big, so you guys can already see that one. You know what I'm saying? I got shoes coming in on the mail too. So yeah, you guys just gotta stay tuned to the channel. Hope you guys, you know what I'm saying, enjoy this video, this review. I know I've been talking for a minute, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get that out there. Hope you guys hit on your stuff this All Star Weekend. Um, I know it was just a lot of craziness out here, a lot of pop up shops. You got, Adidas out here doing crazy little giveaways and they little trucks and everything. You had people doing first come first serve at sneaker shops and boutiques out here in Chicago, man. Just and then it was cold on top of all of that. So shout out to all the sneakerheads out there that stay out there in the cold. Everybody that wasn't the sneakerhead that just helped out somebody, one of your friends, whatever. Shout out to y'all because if it weren't for y'all, a lot of people wanted me to get their shoes that they really wanted to get. But yeah, with all that being said, I'm gonna get you guys over the view. Um, I know it's a little bit late, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So in the meantime, three times gonna get right into it. Starting off with the box, as you guys can see, we got this red, all red over box with the black Nike hits, uh, logo hits all over the box. You got it real big on the top lid, then you got the hits all over the box. Then getting into the box where the tag is at, you guys. Um, reading the tag label, we got Air Jordan 1, high 85. I mean, the color code is B. Q4422600. Then you got the varsity red, varsity black on the bottom. And then you guys have the size 10. You guys have the QR code. Then you have the retail is at $200 USD. I did pay retail for this. I think with tax and everything, it was about $220. Now getting into the inside of the box, you guys get to that tissue paper. The tissue paper on this one is pretty dope. You guys have that Air Jordan logo. Then you have the Air, the Air Jordan uh, wing logo. Then you have 23. Um, then you have the Jumpman logo, and then that pulling back the paper, you guys get into the two dust bags. Now, the dust bags are pretty dope. Um, it's all over black uh, suede. Then you have the Nike Air on the front of it. Let me just go ahead and take one of them out and put this other shoe down. So here, right here, is the dust bag. The dust bag is all black. Got the Nike Air on it right here, and the shoe it comes in the inside. You guys have uh, like shoot string uh, lace tips and he has the chrome lace tips on the tip of them, which is pretty dope. That's dope, so I guess it's pretty nice how they added that. I mean, for $200, I guess, hey, you want to get all your little extra nicks and crannies that you could get. I guess we finally get to see the number. The number, number, number of the shoe that I got is 16,265. If you guys can see that, 16,265 out of 23,000 sneakers. So that's pretty dope. Um, just to know that I'm like kind of borderline, a little bit in the middle, a little bit over, but you guys let me know which number you guys got. If you guys got picked up these shoes, um, that's my number. I wonder if anybody got in like the low, the low, like couple hundreds of thousands, like giving like the first hundred pair or the first thousand pair. Probably not. I know it's probably a long shot. Probably all the PR people probably got those, but hey, if anybody got a low, a low number, that's not like in the 10,000s, maybe like, you know, 5,000 and up. Let her brother know down in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and take these out the bag and see how these look. Uh, this will be my first time doing this. This stuff is still all wrapped up like they were straight from the factory because I want to go ahead and show you guys first so we can experience these first. So as you guys see, it comes like this outside the bag. You got the shoe paper all over it. 
Um, just to get this more of this shoe paper and get it cracking, huh? Let's more of this shoe paper, shoe this shoe paper stuff. Go ahead and unbox this on the camera with you guys. Damn, voila. Woo, wee. Look at these. Look at these, boy. 85, these joints is cold. And like I said, I'm not really a retro one type, but bro, these kind of smacking to be hard. I can't even cap, to be honest. You got the little hang tag book right here. You got my man jumping on it. You already know how we coming with that. Got the hangman right here, the tag with my man jumping on it. You got the extra pair of laces, the black ones right here. You got the red ones that already come in the sneaker. I know a lot of people was talking about the leather, but these look these look pretty. These, these look pretty decent to me. These don't look too bad. Maybe when I do the B-roll, I could just show you guys right now up close on the camera. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be a little stiff, but if they trying to do the 85 leather, I don't think 85 had no plush, 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 high-end leather like that. Not saying they didn't, but I mean, to me, this looks dope. And then you're trying to say like a basketball sneaker, most likely, I mean, they had to probably break them in. That's kind of how all Jordan was back then anyway. It was made to break in into your foot so yeah these are pretty dope um give me one second i'm gonna go and get my shatter backboards my uh 3.0s and i'm gonna try to uh compare them to these because i really don't have that many retro ones that's the only ones i really have all my other retro ones i got rid of like i said i'm not really a retro one guy but this one this is pretty dope and this is the 85 minor so model so i had to go ahead and cop this one just for awesome just to have in the, you know, the collection. You know. Let me go ahead and grab the uh, shot of Fedward so we can try to see the difference between. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, so I'm back. Now we both got, now we got the sneak. I got the shot of Fedward right here though, man. It's, it's real dirty, I need to clean these. Um, I think the last time I wore these, it was snowing outside. So yeah, but let's see, you see? If you guys can tell from this side to the other side, look. To be honest, it kind of look almost the same. I'm not tweaking. It kind of almost look the same as the highs on this one, but I could be wrong. I could, I could be wrong, but shit, to me it looks. To me, that other one looked a little bit more higher. You guys tell me your opinion down in the comments down below. You guys think it's a little bit higher, but to me, it looks it still looks a little bit more higher on the on this one than this one, but it's kind of like by a little bit, by like a hand side. But now looking at the shoe, I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and put them on. I'm not too sure if I want to do that. These these look too dope, too clean to try to put on and lace up right now. So I'll probably just leave them like this. So I guess it probably won't be your own foot, just be a review. So I guess let me go ahead and show you guys some more of this shoe so you guys can see the review. So starting with the upper, you guys can see, you guys have that. I'm mostly red upper with the black hits. You got the black on the toe as well as the inside of the shoe. You guys have it on the top of the ankle as well as the tongue. The tongue is all black with that coat material on the tongue as well as you guys have that black and red hit on the Nike Air on the tongue. And the inside of the shoe, you guys have the coat on the inside. You guys have the sizing and then um, you guys have Ten twenty seven nineteen is when they made these. So if you think about it, man, they've been sitting on these joints for a minute. Um, ten twenty seven nineteen, and I'm not sure what that XC means, but that's what's in the inside of the sneaker. To the sole of the shoe, you guys have that Jordan brand rubber sticker, and it just reads off Jordan brand rubber enterprise corporate LTD. Then you have the model L Jordan. You have the cut. I mean the cold there. You have the pattern. You have the list. You have the mold. You have the size. You have the color. And then you have the date, which is November 14, 1984. We marked, and then it says Jordan Pro PB, I mean BB, which is uh, made in China. And then you have that UR code with the same thing that's on the box, just the size and all that stuff. And you got the size 10 on the inside. Then on the left shoe, as you guys can see, you guys have the little book. 
the little book when you open it has the Air Jordan High. I put it on the B-roll so you guys can uh, read it, but it just show you guys how this shoe is made from the, the air soles to the rubber sole to how they made the upper of the shoes and every different uh, aspect of the shoe, which is pretty dope. If you guys want to read that, you guys can. I'll make sure to B-roll it. I'll put the shots up there so you guys can read it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this shoe down in the comments down below. I was going to do a review, but now looking at these bad boys, I don't think I want to put them on, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I want to put them on, so I think I'm going to just keep them like this for a little bit. If uh, I guess if this video do, it does really good, I guess I, I guess I can come back and do a review on all my All-Star uh, Weekend pickups um, because I do have a couple more if you guys want to see. Like I said, I have this one, I have that one there still in the box. I want to take that one out. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know if you guys hit on these down in the comments down below. Um, also, getting to the bottom, I don't want to forget the bottom too. You know what I'm saying? As I end up the video, you guys have an all red sole that says Nike on it, um, on the bottom of it. But uh, yeah, you guys let me know if you guys caught these shoes down in the comments down below. Um, I know it was just only 23,000 pairs, I know it was kind of limited. You let me know how your All Star weekend uh, went. I guess I can go ahead and spill the beans and let you guys know what else I copped as you guys want to see. I guess I can go ahead and, you know, tease it in here. You guys already see it. You see the holes in the box, you know what I'm saying? You see the see the shoes in the box. Um, I pretty much did hit on the off-white uh, off uh, retro fives, and that'll be coming in the next video. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think of this video down, down in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys want to uh, on foot, because I would do it. But, uh, yeah, I want to just go ahead and bore you guys. I can already see on this camera I've been doing this for a while. So I wanted to go ahead and edit this video up. Let you guys uh, see this video. Let me know down in the comments down below if you guys want me to do the on foot because I don't mind doing the on foot, a quick on foot, real quick for you guys. Um, also, I did end up uh, copping some more sneakers, which was the Black Cat uh, Fours. I actually ended up copping um, two pairs of them. Guess I could go ahead and show you guys this right now. Here's one pair right here. This pair is not being worn or whatever. This one's still been in the box. Let me know if you guys want to see a little review or on foot on that one as well. I probably can still do that. And let me go ahead and show you guys that. I want you guys to think I'm. I want you guys. Yeah, I don't want you guys to think I'm lying, but then here's the second pair. It's all dirtied up, whatever. Here's the second pair of all, you know, the black cat. So. Let me go ahead and do this again. Got this one, this one, so that's double. Um, that's double uh, shoe right there. From this, this weekend, um, we got this one from this All-Star weekend. Um, we got this one as well as another one's coming in the mail. So uh, you guys gotta stay tuned for that video. So like I said, that's two off whites. Got uh, this one as well, I hit on the UNC's. Uh, to Chicago, I actually end up hitting, end up hitting on the Air Jordan 3 Chicago um, Red Cement, so the United, and as well, when I picked up these, you could have picked up the Retro 3 just in the store, just sitting there, you guys could have picked them like whatever. I did end up picking those up, I ended up helping out a friend that uh, wasn't here in Chicago that wanted to get a pair, so I pretty much gave them my pair. And uh, there's no already been hitting a little, been cooking up some things, I know I have really been posting stuff. I know I said at the beginning of this video, this was gonna be on foot, so I wanted to go ahead and clarify that right now. That uh, after actually seeing these joints and seeing them in hand and actually seeing them, um, I don't think I wanna put my feet in them right now and just go ahead and let them marinate, probably just let them sit out. And when I do decide to, or if you guys get this video up to a good amount of views, I would probably just do the review. I mean, I'll probably just do a quick on foot. Maybe I'll do the on foot with another shoe that I have to review for you guys. So uh, yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys also drop a like on this video. Let me know if you guys uh, hit on these or if you guys passed on, if you guys didn't like them, if you guys just want to go ahead and go for the pack. If you guys decide to go with something else totally different from uh, All-Star Weekend, hit on something over like I did because I bought these and then I seen that they had uh, restocked on these again, so I end up copying another pair and end up having a whole them with those, but I'm not even gonna even talk about those. And I'm getting, uh, like I said, these and a couple more other stuff. But uh, yeah, you guys, let me know what you guys like all down in the comments down below. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I see you guys on the next one. Make sure you guys uh, like this video and comment down below once again on this video. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one, see you guys, so.